and they don't like it. So don't go blame everything on the police. Don't go blame everything on, you know, this. You want to put can, them. can I add a piece to that? As a yeah. former police officer of 20 years, I had the opportunity of actually sitting with a mother in this case for three hours. I can absolutely tell you with my experience of interrogation over a 20-year period, as a former detective sergeant, she was speaking 110% truth. I know there's been no investigation, there's no, been no proper police statement taken from this woman because of the way she's been harassed. I also know that we have child abuse in this country to epidemic levels. I was on Saturday sitting with a former MP from the Home Office who categorically stated to me that we've got now about one in ten children being abused. And we have a police force that's in denial, and it's not you, I know that. It comes from senior levels. We now need to recognise this and start acting on it to change the ethos of what is wrecking so many children's lives and costing so much deprivation and degradation to the way we live on this planet. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really putting that out there clearly. Everybody knows it. We've got to start acting on it. And a great time to do that is at this election. Yeah. We've got an election coming up and we need on the hustings to ask what our MPs are doing about this. A lot of it is un underpinned by the ridiculous situation that we've got with debt and the way our financial system actually constrains people from, from talking. Well, that certainly needs looking at. But just think, we have a former Home Office Minister who has said that we've got one in ten children being abused. And it's going on now. It's not historic. It was historic. But it's happening now. And Ella and those two children's case is not unique. I sat with her for three hours and she, what she shared was 100% truth. And I know no police officers have properly investigated this. It's incumbent upon you, Sergeant, to make sure that that investigation starts fully and fairly. And I'm not looking to blame. I, what I'm looking for is a time when we can turn our backs on this sort of happening, that we can keep our children safe and we can live a life where they can flourish and not be suppressed. I was with someone who was abused by a Catholic priest. It massively, massively changes people's lives. And there are people around me here who have been abused. It hugely changes lives. So if we can't look after our children in this society, we're doing a pretty pretty poor job. So let's change it. You know, I know you're a good man and there's good men around here and good women around here who want to see that happen. So let's make it happen. Tell us again your uh, former title. I was a detective sergeant in Sussex Police. Your name? Okay. It's Ray Savage.